You join me in Clefham Building with Tony Graves, who's the Director of Cultural Exchanges, which is happening next week from the 25th of February to the 1st of March. For people who are kind of new to the university or aren't really aware of what Cultural Exchanges is, could you kind of lay out how it came about and what it's all about? Okay, Cultural Exchanges Festival is a pretty unique thing. Uh, it's a festival to celebrate principally the stuff, subjects and areas that are represented in the Faculty of Humanities. Um, what Art Design and Humanities is now called. Um, but it's also really important because it has a function where we're trying to reach people who may not normally come into a university, so people who aren't actually students or lecturers or members of staff, um, who for them maybe a university is a bit of a no-go area. So we're trying to reach out by having this festival to the wider population mm. and communities of Leicester. And you've got all kinds of different speakers coming in from fashion and art and film. Are they talking about kind of primarily their own work or talking more broadly than that? Uh, well, we make sure that it's not a narrow focus in the event. So it's got to be something that people can engage with. And so, for example, Zandra Rhodes is uh, obviously an iconic fashion designer. Um, and, yeah, I think people would be interested to know how she got where she has in her career. Uh, and she'll make reference probably to clothing, Frederick Mercury and uh, Princess Diana, things that hopefully people can then kind of relate to. Mm. And the students take a big kind of input in organising this as well, don't they? Yeah, the students make a massive contribution. Um, if it was just me doing this, I think I'd, I'd be lying down somewhere comatose. <laughs> so basically our arts and festivals management students are the ones that drive this forward. They take on uh, all the roles, you know, managing the speakers, programming, uh, marketing, designing the brochures, uh, selling the tickets, doing the health and safety, the box office, the whole lot. Um, and without them, the, the festival wouldn't take place. Mm. And taking place over the whole week, who would you say is your particular speaker that you're really looking forward to personally? There's a number of highlights. I mean, I, I know somebody, um, Ruth McKenzie, uh, who was the director of the Cultural Olympiad. I know her personally, so it would be great to meet up with her again. Um, but Alan Garner is a particular speaker I look forward to hearing. He's uh, a, a fantasy novelist. Um, some people say he's an inspiration for other novelists like Philip Pullman. So he's an iconic, world-renowned um, artist, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to him mm. making a rare appearance. And some of these events, are they ticketed? Uh, how can people get hold of, um, kind of find out more? Yeah, um, the idea behind the festival is is to have as many free events as possible but really to guarantee your ticket it's best to, to try and book in advance so we have got a box office we've got a box office number um 616 but also you can go on the dmu website and get on our culture exchanges festival website and book online fantastic well thank you for joining us and hope the week goes really well that's very kind thanks thank very you. much